So, yeah, we are asking you not to turn your attention away from your reality. That's not the answer. We're just asking you to understand what we just said and to set forth an intention that you're going to allow yourself that clear space of dreaming more because, now here's what we've been leading up to through all of this conversation. We are using the words, get out ahead of what is. Well, we're asking a lot of you because here you are focused in your physical reality, trying to accept that there is a non-physical reality that we're talking about and paying attention to your emotions. And we're asking you to get out ahead of what is. And you got to wonder, what are you talking about? What do you mean, get out ahead of what is? And we say, stop observing what is so much. And you say, that doesn't even make any sense. Here I am in a room. I can feel the temperature. I can hear sounds. I'm looking around. There's too many of us in here. In other words, there's a now reality that sort of kind of has my attention. And we say, yeah, all of that is a reality, but there's another reality going on in this room too that we're wanting to get your attention to. And so what we're really talking about is focus. What we're really talking about is a vibrational focus. We're talking about tuning to a frequency more often. So when we say get out ahead of it, it's as simple as this. We offered a process some years ago called segment intending. And segment intending goes like this. I recognize that I'm going to enter a new segment in a moment. I'm going to get in my car and go somewhere. New segment because I'm in my car, not in my house. And new segment because I'm alone or maybe I'm with a different person than I was just with. And new segment because I have different intentions. That's the most important thing. It's a new segment and the segment has different intentions. If you're having dinner at a table and there have been three of you there and you've got a pretty good conversation going and the fourth one, the one who was late, shows up, new segment. Because that one is not up to speed or down to speed. So a new segment just happened. So it's really, really helpful if you are out ahead of now by anticipating the new segment and if you are staking your vibrational claim to it. I'm really going to enjoy this drive today. I'm going to see things that I don't usually see. I'm going to appreciate my car in a more exaggerated way. I like being in this car and I'm going to enjoy its stability and its security and its comfort. I'm going to be alert and intuitive and I'm going to place myself well in the traffic and in the choosing of the route. This is segment intending. This is getting out of ahead of it. And hear the practical nature of this. You're not in the car yet. You're not moving down the road yet. Now, here's our question to you. Is your memory of yesterday in the car going to supersede this segment intending? Because that's the question that we're asking you. Because if what happened yesterday when you got stuck on the bridge or what happened yesterday when all of those bad drivers were in your way or rudely interacting with you. In other words, if your memory of, you see, here's the thing. Life is a continuum, isn't it? So there was before and then there's now and then there's what's coming next. But you are offering all of your power here and now. So what are you doing now? Are you here and now activating the vibration of the bad traffic yesterday? Or are you segment intending and going to a place where you haven't been before and anticipating differently and therefore allowing the universe to deliver to the different you because you're vibrationally different than the old you? Are you the creator of your reality? Reality, or are you the regurgitator of your reality? And most people through their memory, through their living of life, through their retelling of the same story over and over again, you can be in a spot on the road and you can remember, oh yeah, this is where that guy really cut me off and then flipped me off. <laughs> and so you have to decide that you want to get out ahead of it. And by that we mean get out ahead of the usual vibration you offer. Unless the usual vibration you offer is divine. Esther visited some friends in Nashville the other day. Her first time in Nashville, she really, 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 really liked it. And her first time with these friends in their house. And her first time meeting their wonderful little dogs. And, oh, this sweet little dog really took to Esther. 
and wanted to be on Esther's lap and wanted to lick Esther's face, wanted only to lick Esther's face, wanted only to lick Esther's face, and looked at Esther with such intensity of love and appreciation and lickiness. <laughs> Esther said, I'm forever transformed. No one has ever loved me like this before. It was an exhilarating experience. Well, now, Esther, she can go into the past and reactivate that and be in a total state of alignment and allowing. We're not saying that there are not things from your past that can put you in a state of We're just asking you to selectively sift. And in fact, we're not even asking you so much to selectively sift right now, not just for a little while, just for a day or two or three or four weeks, for a week, two weeks, just for a little while, two weeks, a month, just for a little while, just for a little while. We're asking you not to try to clean up what you've been living and not try to go in the past sifting and sorting because it's a minefield out there. What you've been living has so many possibilities. Don't let that be your point of focus. Just let that life come to you as it will and it will. And that's just fine and whatever comes is fine. But just for a little while, let your intent be, I'm going to get out ahead of it in these ways. I'm going to do more segment intending and I'm going to find snatches in time best after I've meditated or first thing in the morning when the vibrational slate is more clear. And I'm just going to let myself daydream. Now, here's what we mean by that. We know you've done it. You just don't know how you've done it. Here's what we mean by it. But in order for you to get this, you got to understand what we said earlier about the absolute existence of your vibrational reality. Because everything that you have desired before you came into this body and since is vibrationally active there and is in the process of calling the components, the cooperative components there. That's your true point of attraction. And from that vortex, when you are out ahead of where you stand, meaning clear space, open, tuned in, tapped in, turned on, receptive mode, the vortex will begin demonstrating to you in the form of daydreams. Just little snatches in time. You'll get glimpses of things. You'll get glimpses of pleasing things. And we want you to know, because of this conversation, the importance and the power of that. And we want you, most of all, to feel the purity of it. And in the purity, there is the power. In the no contradicting it with any kind of reality. Oh. What you're going to begin to notice first, it'd be a little infrequent, but it will become more and more frequent. And once you get hold of a piece of something and you let yourself go into it and your mind begins rolling with it, manifestations will begin to line up right away. Everything that you're ready for, once you accomplish that, you can do that in two or three minutes time. We are not kidding you. You can feel the fullness of it. So now, 